Rugby Draft Mile after the Queensland Oaks, which is brought to you compliments of our Qantas Festival of Australian Racing 3, 6 and 7. The judges call here at Ellerslie in the last number 3 tennis. The winner is Moonshine just refusing to uh, go up from the McKee stable. She's at uh, 40 to 1 over there in Australia. And uh, also well supported number 1 circles of gold, the favourite in Australia and the favourite on the New Zealand TAB as well. Judge has confirmed the placings here in the last at Ellerslie, three, six and seven. Two and a half lengths, the winning margin for Tannist. Still quite a few more to come in. The Eagle Farm, at Eagle Farm, the Queensland Oaks were set. Let's join our caller. The Queensland Oaks, they're about to break. Signal given. Lights are on. And they're off and racing. Now, Schwa Denise threw its head in the air when the stalls open, and Dodici Miele dropped back shortly after the break, bringing the first to ping out and lead, and Kinnerita's going up quickly on the outside. So is Zilla Strader. Now, Dipman's coming across on Euphoria, and Circles of Gold made a line of five at the line the first time from Moonshine. Broan's outside, those from Princess Vogue followed further back in the field. Lady Bird Blue on the inside of Laminia, followed by Schwa Denise, and then came Luna Shadow and Dodici Miele at the tail of the field. Out of the straight with 1900 to run and circles of gold went to the lead by a length euphoria sitting up second on the outside Brinning third on the rails, Illustrator fourth and Broan fifth covering a bit of ground. Kinnerita sixth on the inside, a length away was Moonshine, followed by Princess Vogue on the inside of Lady Bird Blue. Laminia can't get on the track going three deep from Luna Shadow. Joie Denise is back second last and last of all is Dodi Chimila as the field heads down the back with about 1,400 metres left to run. The leader is Circles of Gold, Broan's gone up to its girth on the outside. Euphoria tucked away in third, Brinning fourth on the rail, a length away, Illustrator. Kinnerita sixth the inside, two lengths to Moonshine, a half to Princess Vogue. Laminia can't get on the track, three deep around Lady Bird Blue. Over on the inside, Luna Shadow, Olsen riding Schwa Denise patiently back second last, and last of all is Dodici Miller. On the top corner, a thousand out on the Oaks and Circles of Gold's had everything its own way, and led by a length over Broan, Euphoria third on the outside, and Brinning is fourth on the rail. A length and a half to Kinnerita on the inside, followed by Illustrator, two to Moonshine, then Princess Vogue, Lady Bird Blue about to make ground, Laminia dropping out, Schwa Denise about to pick up ground, followed by Luna Shadow, and Dodici Miele whips them, whips them in. They're 700 from home, Circles of Golden, Broan and Euphoria, they're the top three over the crossing. Illustrator fourth, Brinning next on the inside, Moonshine and Lady Bird Blue making ground, and Schwa Denise is working up behind those as they turn the corner. Into the straight, Circles of Gold, the leader, about a half, Euphoria coming on the outside, two to Broan, then Lady Bird Blue and Schwa Denise is working home in the centre. 300 to go and Circles of Gold has beaten off Euphoria. Here comes Schwa Denise on the outside from Lady Bird Blue and inside the 200 Circles of Gold in front. Schwa Denise is the danger. Schwa Denise for Larry Olsen up on the outside of Circles of Gold. Schwa Denise took the lead close to home, hammered out with the whip and Schwa Denise wins the Oaks. Second Circles of Gold, Kinnerita got third, then Illustrator Lady Bird, Blue Princess Vogue, Dodici Miller, Broan, then Euphoria Luna Shadow, Moonshine and Laminia is next to last and bringing his tail right off. Well, there goes race four at Australia, 7, 1 and 9. Your numbers there, 7, 1 and 9. Down to the first here at Manawa 2 this evening. Two minutes. Race number three from Australia. The winner was number nine, Explode, at $6.50 and $1.90. Number six, Grey Alex, second at $3.20. Number eight, Sky Tell, third at $3.75. The six and nine, Quinella, $43.30. The nine, six and eight, Trifecta, $1,417.85. Race number four, the Queensland Oaks, taken out by number seven, Joy Denise, at $5.35 and $1.90. Number one, Circles of Gold, second at $1.30, and nine, Kin Narita, third at $15.55. The one and seven, Quinella, $8 even. The seven, one and nine, Trifecta, $356 even. Race ten from Auckland, taken out by number three, Tannis, Produce.
QTC size produce steaks. Let's run through the market. That event beginning in 10 minutes time at 20 past 5. Number one donor, Larry Cassidy at 11.10 and 360. Two Latin quarter, Larry Olsen at 49 and 880. Number three, Concur, Mick Dittman at 6.45 and 2.95. Number four, Kidman's Cove, Doug Messingham at 11.20 and 305. Number five, Tavana, Damien Oliver at 21 and $5.70. Number six, Zedara, Jim Byrne at 39 and 880. Seven, Defence, Glenn Boss at 860 and 255. Eight, more Luskin, Rod Griffiths, 22 and 490. Number nine, Martinets, McPelling at 27 and 660. Number 10, Brandon, David Taggart at 36 and 840. 11, the Virginian, Danny Nikolic at 1275 and 285. 12 is eight. 13, I solder, Shane Dye. 275 and 125 and 14 shame to be ridden this afternoon by Grant Cooksley at 680 and $2.80. Race number seven a little bit later on is the Qantas Cup from Australia. It's due to begin at six o'clock. A lot of interest in quite a few runners, not the least of them the top weight, Scalacci. Very good galloper. Last time out ridden by Simon Marshall. Let's have a look at his run. Deep Morocco's gone up fourth on the inside of Bruce Land, followed by another Victor Wide. A length and a half to Yarra Dorfin, fast talker. See Winnie back second last on the fence and last Bucks Pride. 500 out coming to the bend, hot to race the leader, Ranchburg second. The big grey Scalacci a length away third, then Morocco of another Victor. Further back is Bruce Land, Yarra Dorf. See Winnie's a mile back as they turn the corner from fast talker and Bucks Pride. Hot to race, led for home from Ranchburg. Now Scalacci, the big grey's called upon. He's out after the leader, then Verocca rocket of another victor and see Winnie from a long way back. Hot the race in front past the 200. Scalacci trying hard and look at see Winnie. She's coming from nowhere. It's hot the race Scalacci. See Winnie is rocketing down the outside. Will she get up? Oh, I don't know. Hot the race on the fence and see Winnie. There's only an inch between them. Scalacci's about a hit away third. Gee, this is tight. Then so Scalacci, a good run to finish third there, and today he will be reunited with Damien Oliver. There's another horse in the race, that's number four, Captain Lee. We've got uh, the horse's last start. Take a look at Captain Lee performance. Up in the Goodwood, caught them pretty well too, Shavit, nicely into stride, as was Hero Win. Merlot beaten hopelessly for speed. Simple as that, no early speed, and Orderson, one of the last on settling. Hero Win led narrowly, Vibonaria, going through the pack just awesome, and also there with it too is the heavyweight, and Pay the Kings on the inside, and Latin Villa is there, followed by Centaur, wider out, Daring Ombre, and then came Shavit, followed by Lynn Bird, Shanty Creek inside of Ambala, and then Dunster Castle, followed by Welcome Knight, taking off deep. They were followed by Bird and a nice and carping. He's only got about four in the main pack behind him and they include Slick Brother Alderson and simple as that. Ten lengths to Merlo. Around the turn. Under 600 a race in the Goodwood. And Hero Wind out wide and on the inside. Just awesome from Viminaria the heavyweight. There's a traffic jam. Latin Villa getting through. Centile on the outside is there. Just behind Daring Ombre as they straighten. Then Shanty Creek and Pay the Kings. The heavyweight just ahead of those on the rail. Wide out Dunster Castle. Carpingly trying to get a run through. Lindbergh likewise and so is Shavit at the 200 though. And the leader now is Hero Wind. Here comes Latin Villa and Centile. Centile races up. Carting Lee comes after Centile. Won't get Centile. Centile in front close to home and at big odds. Centile takes out the group one Goodwood. Second Carting Lee. Chavit is there for third with simple as that. They were followed by Daring Ombre. Alderson ran home at a great rate. He came from about... That was a good effort there for the horse to run second. That's Carting Lee behind Centile here as we're taking a look at the replay of the event. Really finishing over the top of them in the hands of Rod Griffiths and Captain Lee starts against Galachi in the Qantas Cup at 6 o'clock this afternoon that event over 1200 metres so they'll really be down to it it's going to be something to look forward to at 20 to 7 this afternoon we have the O'Shea Stakes featuring our own Rough Habit number one he's looking to redeem himself for his indifferent effort in the Doombin Cup today with Ross Elliott being suspended for that ride Shane Scriven takes the mound he's got a wide alley to contend with but let's just hope and not such a hot field perhaps with Dane Wynn and some of the others Dana Singer top three-year-olds out of it perhaps he can show his true worth over 2,400 meters we certainly hope so we're going to show you some replays of a couple of horses we think are chances first is Shuganoff last time out at Doombin 
Kamu Cow, sixth one off the fence. Sky Angel tracking up on the inside and then Renison. And then Tellers win on the inside of Choganoff and the next pair, Canopy on the inside of Sapio. And then Spiteful in his hands, followed by uh, Strike Sparks taking off on the outside of Banker's Dream. At the 700 metres mark. And Commentatus quicken up the pace. Led by a length. Racing second dark side. And here's Sahara Andy taking off. Waikika Mukau tracking him. Illustrator on the fence. And then Belmarado Renison followed by Sky Angel chugging off. And Sapio's a long way back but making ground from Tellers when as they turn the corner. Commentatus just in front of Sahara Andy. Waikika Mukau. Renison pulled to the outside. And now chugging off is about to come home. And so is Sapio. Commentatus and Sahara Andy and Waikika Mukau led up the 200, chugging off a length away, Sapio next on the outside Waikika Mukau hit the lead 100 out, he's in front of Sahara Andy chugging off is coming quickly with Sapio he's dying, Waikika Mukau chugging off, chugging off, swapped them in one I'd say, chugging off has finished off the track but he's won from either Waikika Mukau, Sahara Andy or Sapio out very very deep, then Sky Angel Illustrator So certainly a lot to keep an eye on this afternoon we're going to have a look at the latest Australian market for the next event here, race number six, and number one, Donar. That's Larry Cassidy's ride, and must be some sort of a chance as well. It's race number five on the New Zealand TAB, and Donar, as I said, Larry Cassidy rides, is coming from 20s to 16s, looking down the page, Concur number three, Mick Dittman rides from 12s into 11s. Over there, the big mover, number seven, Defence, Glenn Boss will ride. And Defence is coming from 14s to 11s. Always good to see what happens here. Moving out, Martinez, number nine, has uh, moved a little bit, McPelling rides. Good odds on the rest of that page. And looking, there's the couple down there, number 13, I sold her. Shane Dyes Mount has really come in from four to five to one to one and shame ridden by grant cooksley unbeaten in two starts a lot of oil for her she's opened at threes now she's at seven to two having a look at the new zealand odds courtesy of burlington the wind movers number seven defense from 15s they've woken up here into 785 number 13 i solder has moved out 40 cents to two dollars 80 three concur from 740 into 595, number 5 to Varna from 14s out now to 24s, number 14 Shame moved out a fraction to 675 and number 4 Kidman's Cove has moved in from 11s to 975. Through the market, Donar number 1 at 12 and 390, 2 Latin Quarter 35 and 650, 3 Concur at 590 and 240, 4 Kidman's Cove at 975 and 255, number 5 Tavana at 24 and 550. Number 6 Zadara at 46 and 10, 7 Defence at 785 and 220, number 8 Moore Luskin at 22 and 5, 9 Martinez at 33 and 770, 10 Brandon. 43 and 995. 11 the Virginian at 15 and 345. 13 I Solder at 280 and 160. And 14 Shame 675 and 225. That event begins at 20 past 5. We'll almost be ready to go to Australia to take that event live. Race number 3 at the Greyhounds at Courtesy of Qantas, we're going to go to Australia to take in the Queensland Oaks from Eagle Farm. $250,000 Australian up for grabs, over 2,400 metres, the three-year-old fillies. No allowances here. And looking through the market here, looking for the flasher there. Now look at number seven, Defence. They've really slammed that in Australia from 14s now into 9s. And another flasher, Mick Dipman, on number three, concur from 11s into eight. So they're having a field day out. over there. We have our audio. Let's join what I believe will be Johnny Tapp. All set to run. I saw they've been very heavily back, starting signal about to be given, and they'll be off in a matter of moments in the running of the size produce stakes. There's the signal. Lights are on. Ready. And they're off and racing. Latin Quarter was slow to move at the start and so was Moore Luskin and I. Solder was the first to go, but the Virginian went along the fence to join it in the early park. Kidman's Cove third and Donar and Concur of Martinets are going up. Moore Luskin driving along the fence after a tardy getaway, followed by Brandon. Then Defence and Shame drifting back from Latin Quarter, followed by Zadara. 
and La Tavana is last of all. On the first corner, 1,000 metres to go, the Virginian a half to concur. Martinets is third, I sold as fourth in the middle, and more Luskin fifth in the inside. A length to Dana, a half to Kidman's Cove, one to Brandon, a half to Shame the Rail. Then defence three deep around Latin Quarter, Tavana and last to Dara. 700 to run, the Virginian and Concur led together. Martinets going up to make a line of three. More Luskin fourth, die about the niggle at Isolde in the middle. Donar's going up on the outside, followed by Kidman's Cove. Brandon further back on the field defence. And Shames a long way back with Latin Quarter and Tavana. In the straight, Concur went to the front at the 400. Martinets on the outside, followed by the Virginian. Now Isolde's pulled out and Donar's going with it, followed by More Luskin. At the 250 metres mark and Isolde on the outside and Donar have gone up to take the lead together. Shame's getting through in the middle. I sold to the leader. Shame going through on the fence. I sold her and Shame together. A hundred to go. Shame on the inside's going better. Shame takes the lead and Shame wins the size from I sold her. Third home was Donar, followed by Kidman's Cove, Latin Quarter, Tavana. Then Defence and more Luskin, Martinets and Concur, Brandon Zadara and the early pacemaker, the Virginian is last of all. Well, unbelievable. The two top former New Zealand riders, Shame and Grant Cooksley, will take it out all right. The Eagle Farm size produce and a tremendous effort as to our soldier and Shane Dyer as we look at these two great former Kiwi riders on the inside, Shame in the hands of Grant Cooksley. Shane Dyer throwing everything at our soldier and number one, Donar and Larry Cassidy. So I guess you could say the three New Zealand riders have dealt to the Australians. We're going to cross to Australia after the break. But just take another look at this. Uh, we're going to go to Manawa too, rather. I'm getting carried away. But New Zealand riders, they've done it again. Bam, Shane. 14, 13 and 1. So as Alexander Field said, all the Kiwi jockeys there. 14, 13 and 1. 14, Shane. $5.15, $1.80. Number 13 has paid $1.05. And number 1... The top weight 375, Quinella 13 and 14, 305, Trifecta 14, 13, 1, 79 dollars 40. Okay, we'll give the open market soon. So the, yeah, so the doubles there, you can see it Australia on races 4 and 5, 7 and 14, returns $13.80, concession 7 and 13, $6.05, with the substitute being the second runner number 13, that's meeting 12 at Australia. Go to race number six, due to go at 5.40, number one, Red Eagle, $6.60 and $2.50. Number two, Skywatch, $3.35, $1.50, three, Kingston, $9.85 and $2.75. Go to number four, Al Castano at $15.70 and $4. Number four, Calligraphy at $6.55 and $2.10. Number seven, Jovial Prince, $18.50, $5.75. Number seven, Prince of Justice, 815345 Trivial S 222515 and Bright Eyed at 2385 and 575 scratch number 10 Number 11 Blani 81085 and 290 Hazen Lord number 12 297840 Harmonious number 13 3345990 and Knowledge Box at 203575 so Greyhound's coming back onto the track here. Australia is actually the next race live here on trackside. And we're crossing over there now. It's Rose Hill. And it's the 2WS Stayers Cup over 2,400 metres. And the last few horses are coming into line. Let's head over to Australia and pick up the coverage from this race from Rose Hill. Another three races, including this one from Australia. One or two still walking around. We'll have a quick chat to uh, Ray Adcock, who's beside me now. Ray, first of all, you've got a dog on race number one, Libertine. Number three at eleven dollars and three seventy. That's not bad money. It won well here in the non tote on Wednesday. Yes, it did, uh, Mark, and it flies the traps. So I'm hoping it's out first and kicks mud in their face and goes. Plenty of mud out there. Will it handle the wet, all right? Well, I don't know. Half the dogs will and half them won't tonight. And uh, the feature tonight is the twelve thousand dollars South Island Championship. Still a few horses walking around there in Rose Hill, as the uh, Bookies odds flash up on the screen there. And uh, Ray, you've got three runners in there. The favourite will be number three, Mega Legend. Also in there, number seven, Jigs Harcourt and eight, Cinema for you. Must all be a chance. Who do you rate the best? Oh, well, Mega Legend uh, is the gun dog and he stays on very well, so these conditions should help. But these conditions, do you do get form reversals and wet, filthy weather and, uh, you know, let's hope. 
Cinema does also, and Jigs Harker, both handle Kiwi too, so uh, that's a plus too. Yes, Cinema comes out of box eight tonight, should get a reasonable run there, likes to lead them along in front. Yes, he flies the traps, it's great, yeah. Another one to kick mud in the face. <laughs> Jigs Harcourt uh, got back uh, on Wednesday and only just qualified for the final because Aqua Floss was picking it up, but uh, Jigs Harcourt's been in exceptional form and has beaten Mega Legend the last couple of times that they've uh, met. Uh, can he do it again? Well, uh, I think he could, but for some reason or another, he fell out of the box in the, in the semi-final and uh, wobbled out and lost a lot of ground and was lucky to qualify. That's the $12,000 South Island Championship, race number seven on our card at QE2. Looks like they're set to go here in Rose Hill, so let's cross for the corners, Ready race six on the, the TAB TWS here. Ready to Cup. Lights are flashing on top, 2,400 metres, and they look good now. El Castano drawn on the extreme outside. They're off. Uh, Bright-eyed jumped a little awkwardly. Jovial Prince is about the first out. Prince of Justice began well and so did Blaney. Trivia Lass coming over from the outside and Kingstown is one of the leaders. He wants to over-race a bit early. Followed by Asian Lord and widest of all is El Castano as they thunder down the straight the first time. To the judge with a lap to go and Blaney the leader taken on by El Castano. Trivia Lass easing to third. Prince of Justice fourth on the inside of Asian Lord. Kingstown on the outside of Jovial Prince. Skywatch three deep as they leave the straight on the outside of calligraphy and bright eyed then harmonious on the outside of red eagle and back at the tail knowledge box as they go over the crossing at the 1800 mark the leader is blaney bowling along in front led by two and a half to el castano in third place prince of justice on the fence followed by trivia last then jovial prince kingstown is traveling one off the rail asian lord three deep on the fence bright eyed and then calligraphy between horses struck a little bit of bother there sky watch is traveling three deep to the back followed by harmonious red eagle and knowledge box last about 10 or 12 lengths off the lead. Down the back past the 1400 mark and Blaney is carting them along at a good gallop. It's Blaney two and a half to El Castano. Three quarters away Prince of Justice on the fence. A length then to Trivia Lass. Asian Lord out three deep. Jovial Prince just behind the pace followed by Kingstown from Bright Eyed and Sky Watch still three deep. Calligraphy between them. Harmonious about to take off is carted four deep down the back followed by Red Eagle and two lengths away last knowledge box as they get to the 1000 mark where Blaney is the leader. It's Blaney by nearly two lengths to El Castano. A neck away Prince of Justice followed by Trivial Ass Asian Lord. Harmonious right off the track. Jovial Prince strung up for a run at the moment. Then Kingstown Sky Watch has never been on the track. Followed by Bright Eyed Calligraphy Red Eagle and two and a half to Knowledge Box. Last of all and they're packing up very tightly. At the 600 mark and it's Blaney the leader over El Castano. Prince of Justice about to get a dream rails run. Prince of Justice getting right up on the fence to go to the lead over Blaney and El Castano then Jovial Prince followed by Trivia Lass and Bright Eyed. They're all heading out to the middle as they turn for home. Prince of Justice straightened up in front of El Castano. Bright Eyed on the inside followed by Calligraphy. Then Jovial Prince and Red Eagle. At the 200, Prince of Justice right out in the middle of the track is the leader over. Bright Eyed Calligraphy about two horses off the fence. Prince of Justice with the better going though is clear of Calligraphy and Bright Eyed as they get near home. And the Reggie Priest trained Prince of Justice from Orange races away to win well over Calligraphy it's close for third, bright eyed maybe a nose to Red Eagle, followed by El Castrano, Jovial Prince, Knowledge Box, Kingstown, Blaney, and then Trivia Lass, followed by Sky Watch and Asian Lord, and tailed off Harmonious after the 2WS Stayers Cup. And that's race six on the New Zealand TAB. As far as the Australian races are concerned today, seven, five and nine as we have a look at the replay and heading up the straight, number seven out on the centre of the track at this stage is a Prince of Justice and it's going very well on the going out there. It's kicked right away for a very comfortable win. Close to the fence, number five, Calligraphy. It's going to run second but will freeze frame on the winner here, number seven, Prince of Justice. Comfortably home, seven, five and nine. Let's have another look at that replay and there's no doubt who's going to win this. Prince of Justice is well clear uh, by three to four lengths at this stage. That's calligraphy closest to the fence, battling away bravely. Beside that is uh, number nine, Bright Eyed. And uh, coming home fairly well in the hood is number one, Red Eagle. I think fourth will be its lot. Let's have a look as they cross. Number seven, comfortably in front, about three lengths at the line. Freeze frame there on number five, calligraphy home second. This is this trifecta third place. It's interesting. We'll go the inside. It's the unofficial placing. Number nine, bright eyed, narrowly over number one, red eagle. And uh, that race from Rose Hill brought to us courtesy of Qantas. Another couple of Australian races coming later in the card from Eagle Farm. Manawa two, race three, the latest uh, up there, the Greyhounds. Result yeah. through of the uh, two WS Stayers Cup from Rose Hill. Number seven, Prince of Justice, an easy winner, eleven dollars ten and three fifty five. Number five, Calligraphy second at two seventy, and number nine, bright eyed did hold on for third. 
and it returned at $6.50. The Quinella 5 and 7, $40.85. Trifecta 7, 5 and 9, $1,238.35. And that's the uh, 2 WS Stayers Cup from Rose Hill. Well, we're back at QE2, race number one from QE2 at uh, about 5.55. They're just having a look at the allure at the moment though. Let's hope there's no problems there. They're going to change the brushes apparently. Race number seven from Australia. Time to go at six o'clock. And it's the Qantas Cup over 1,200 metres. Good field. Number one, Scalacci, as we look through. Damien Oliver rides 405, 160. Two's a scratching. Number three, Spanish Mix. Grant Cooksley rides 104305. Number four is Captain Lee G Boss at five and 265. Five is Sublimate. 710 and 185 D Nicolick. Number six, Loudspeaker A. Russell, 1695 and 425. Number seven, Jax or Better, M. Palling, 34, 15 and 7. Number eight is My Red Scent, J. Byrne at 1850 and 545. Nine, Every Detail, Larry Cassidy, 1680 and 365. Ten, Bulldog Yates, M. Delindo at 1245 and 515. 11, Hot to Race, J. Taylor, 2335 and 690. Number 12, Victoria Park, Shane Dye, 710 and $2.80. 13 is Del Sol, G. Watson, 51.65 and 11.70. 14, Dr. Zachary, B. Cooper, 53.55 and 12.40. And 15 is Poshka, B. Preble at 21.35 and 6.85. The Qantas Cup from Eagle Farm, time to go at 6 o'clock. Now these are the problems we're having at QE2 in Christchurch at 1 QE2 Park. We're off to Australia just like that. Race number 7 on the New Zealand TAB coverage of Australian races today. It's the Qantas Cup from Eagle Farm in Brisbane. 12 hundred metres. Let's cross there for the call. Only waiting on the starting signal. Scalacci, the inside run of the lights are on. All set to go. Scalacci, the inside runner. They're racing. He bounded out the old fellow Scalacci from the inside. Sublimate began quickly. There goes Bulldog Yake spearing to the leader. My Red Centre showing a lot of speed and so is Loudspeaker and Jacks or Better coming over from out wide. On settling down Bulldog Yates led Jacks or Better. My Red Cent Loudspeaker Del Sol. They're followed by Hot to Race and Plushka further back then came Dr. Zachary Sublimate. Scalacci's got back worse than midfield on the inside than every detail. Victoria Park Spanish mix and Captain Lee is last. Seven 700 out Bulldog Yates, one and a half jacks or better, two lengths to Del Sol. Then loudspeaker followed by Plushka, my red sense, Scalacci, the rail sublimate between runners. Then every detail, Victoria Park and Captain Lee staying on the fence. Bulldog Yates clear past the 400, he's giving plenty of cheek. He's three to jacks or better, loudspeaker, Scalacci about to get into the clear. Captain Lee trying to go with him and so is sublimate, but Bulldog Yates has got a big break of the 200. He's three lengths to loudspeaker, Captain Lee's coming out of the pack now. Bulldog Yates is the leader. Captain Lee's trying hard to pick him up, but Bulldog Yates in front. Captain Lee's not going to get him and Bulldog Yates. Bulldog Yates leads all the way to beat Captain Lee in third either Spanish mix or loudspeaker. Then Scalacci, Victoria Park, every detail. Sublimate and Plushka uh, followed by Dr. Zachary, Hot the Race, Del Sol, My Red Scent and Jacks or Better as last of all. And there's uh, Australia race number seven today. And uh, from Eagle Farm, the Qantas Cup's been taken out by number 10, Bulldog Yates. Sounds like it should be here at Kiwi 2 Park. Bold uh, ride too, an excellent ride. Bulldog Yates, as you can see in front, stole the march on the corner and it started to shorten stride. Uh, but uh, coming quickly is four, Captain Lee, but just not quick enough. The post's going to arrive. Very tight photo for third, but down to the post here. And it's Bulldog Yates that's getting there. Captain Lee closing in very quickly. There's the post. And Bulldog Yates, number 10, beats number four, Captain Lee. We've got a tight photo. Looks like maybe down the outside. Mm, that's tight. There's loudspeaker number six, and there's also number three, Spanish mix. Very tight for third. And Qantas bring us the coverage from Australia today. That was race seven. We'll have the result through very shortly. And uh, race number eight from Australia coming up at 6.40. Also from EQ at 6.15. The result of the Qantas Cup quickly through. Number 10, Bulldog Yates returned 15.05 and 3.35. Four, Captain Lee, $2.10. And number three, Spanish Mix, grabbed third, $3.60. The Quinella, four and ten, fifty-one seventy-five. And the Trifecta, ten, four and three, $1,340.70. Race number five is the next live race. 
on trackside from Manawatu, PJ O'Shea Stakes, $150,000 race, weight for age, 2,400 metres. Number one, the Ruffy, Rough Habit, 7.95 and 4.05. It's, uh, he goes a big one after last week. Two, Air yes, Seattle, 14.25 and 4.25. Shane Dye rides Air uh, yes, Seattle and uh, S. Screven riding Rough Habit. Number three is Cross Swords, D. Nikolic at 20.